thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you so much for watching this channel i hope you must have seen the part 1 of the sock to compliance everything you need to know video if not please go back onto this channel and watch the part 1 only this uh, will make any sense if you will watch the part 1 first okay so in part 1 we discussed about the basic definitions what is a service organization what is a service auditor uh, what is sock to report and what is a user entity and we also discussed what is aicpa now in this particular part 2 video we will discuss the main thing what is the test services criteria what are the test services principles and here what are the controls that should be there implemented for the same and here what is soc2 and here soc2 type 1 report and soc2 type 2 report so stay tuned and please like the videos as always so that i can get the motivation to create more videos like this thank you SOC 2 is very important these days for any organization who is getting any sort of IT services, especially for cloud vendors. If you have any cloud vendor, if you are getting any services from any of your service partners, your supply chain, your vendors who are actually hosting all the infrastructure on the cloud, you definitely need to understand what is SOC 2 report. So very important video for all of you out there who are working in the compliance field. governance this can compliance field and come day to day for the soc2 reports and sometimes you also find very hard to understand what is the soc2 type 1 report and what is the soc2 type 2 report after watching this particular part part 2 of this video series you will definitely have a lot of clarity i can assure you that okay so let's get started so what is the test services criteria which is all already discussed in the last video still i will discuss is nothing but a set of controls which are used to evaluate analyze and report on the suitability of the design and operating effectiveness for five sections okay so what does it means it means that it is a set of criteria which is basically a set of controls which we will discuss here what are these controls which are designed to check five sections of any company of an organization okay any organization any company for that matter so what are these five sections five sections are which are the five principles also security availability process integrity confidentiality and privacy these are the five sections that you need to understand okay and who has set this criteria again established by American Institute of Certified Public Accountants (AICPA), which we already discussed yesterday. That's why I said, please watch part one first. Otherwise, this won't make any sense. So now, let us understand what are these five test services criteria principles. So every SOC two audit structure and report comprises these five test services criteria, depending upon their relevance. Okay, so depending upon their relevance. we will also understand why it is mentioned so because if you see privacy is only applicable when there is any personal information so that's why it is being mentioned depending upon their relevance but out of all these uh, categories one thing you should note is security is default and security should be there as a default trust services criteria which should be looked into okay so please note that point so first of all what is the first category first category is security security is systems and data within the hold of a company that are protected against unauthorized access and unauthorized disclosure okay so here it talks about confidentiality and integrity okay of information again protecting the cia so security here is being talked about now next part it says a availability next it comes information systems that are available for effective operation and use for example 
if you have hosted some sort of cloud services they should be available okay so security takes care of confidentiality and integrity and then it comes availability over here then confidentiality is again separately being considered here mentioning that confidential information about clients and business is protected and secure so under security also it is covered and if you are storing any sort of confidential information related to your business or clients again confidentiality is being emphasized upon again here okay then it comes under privacy what what comes under privacy is again as i mentioned all personal information because here we are talking about privacy is collected retained disclosed used and disposed as per the rules and policies again if you are considering european citizen data then gdpr preset rules and policies standard guidelines so here privacy has to be maintained up to those levels as mentioned in the compliance then it asks for process integrity when it says process integrity it means entire system processing is valid accurate complete timely and authorized okay client data remains correct over the entire course of data processing for example yesterday when i took example of payroll processing any sort of salaries if you are processing any sort of information that you are passing on it should be accurate that's why processing integrity is very important similarly if you are hosting any website so whatever data you are putting over there it should be intact there should not be any change for example if you have if you have a payment gateway if you, if you have any sort of services which are being hosted so all this should be accurate that's why processing integrity is very important so ultimately the five categories for trust services criteria is nothing but it i think from my understanding it revolves around cia confidentiality is there integrity is there and availability is also there but apart from that what they have done is they have separately included privacy which i think they should have done and they should they have also included security as a generic term because in security they are mainly con uh, controlling the confidentiality part of the information so that unauthorized access is limited and unauthorized disclosure is also prevented so now after that let us understand that the uh, criteria also mentioned that the confidentiality the services criteria applies to all kinds of sensitive information whereas the privacy trust services criteria applies to only to customers personal information so as i mentioned privacy is only applicable in sort of any personal information the trust services criteria represents a framework by which service organizations are analyzed for soc 2 compliance so this is a basic framework out of the five criteria the security category as i already mentioned is mandatorily required to obtain a soc 2 audit okay so please keep a note of this this will come handy in the upcoming parts of this video many early stage startups choose to start their persuasion for soc 2 compliance with an evaluation of the security category only because they first of all try to understand that they are making sure of the confidentiality of the information okay so i think i will leave the video here because i think i'm already reaching the 10 minutes mark and i don't want these videos too long so tomorrow we will discuss about what are the controls under each of the trust services criteria okay security privacy processing integrity confidentiality and availability and what is soc 2 and soc 2 type 1 report and soc 2 type 2 report and until then please feel free to ask any questions if you have and please like the video and share the video thank you so much for watching take care bye, -bye.